uh, maybe the pseudo final battle. Also, uh, we get to see uh, Javis' uh, actual design. Uh, it's not as complicated as I expected. Okay, uh, let's start by uh, attacking with Fluttershy. Rainbow Dash can uh, attack normally. Uh, we're gonna Mega Scorch this guy because he's wearing a poncho and uh, Applejack will call on Rabbit for to defend us. To defend us. Words! Also unique uh, music team for this guy, thankfully. Oh, he can cast Mega Frost too. That's very good. Mm, he doesn't seem to have a weakness though. He has quite a bit of HP, but uh, yeah, he doesn't seem to be that tough. Uh, yeah, just attack. Twilight, uh, call upon Pinky to make yourself more powerful, and... Oh, Applejack, you're out of the... Yeah. You know what? Just confuse the guy. Twilight summons Pinky for moral support. So I use first aid. Rainbow attacks. Javis casts multi-scorch. Oh, and it hurts quite a bit. Quite a bit. If I didn't have Rarity Shield on, uh, that would deal quite a bit of damage. Applejack says something sour, and that has no effect on Javis. I should have known. How annoying, though. Uh, give this to Applejack. You keep attacking. Twilight, use the... Ah, uh... uh, it's only for one character. Then use the Apple Pie. Applejack, uh, attack. Twilight uses Apple Pie. Actually, what did I do? I should have had Applejack use the Apple Pie and Twilight uh, use her spell. That would have dealt more damage. Oh, whatever. In a way, this guy seems to attack aggressively using spells, and apparently he likes Frost spells the most. Even though he's only done three attacks so far. Uh, heal... No, wait, actually, no, Kiss. Kiss Rainbow. Rainbow, Kiss Flourish High. And... Let's make a Frost this dude, and... Kiss Rarity. Power up! I don't know why Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash uh, like attempt to kiss each other. I guess it's uh, if uh, Fluttershy and Rainbow are down, it it will not have any effects. That's what it is. Anyway, yep. Let's keep attacking aggressively now. Dive bomb, Mega Scorch, Lasso. Rainbow dive bombs the enemy. Javis casts Multi Scorch. He's pretty fast for a dude. And Rainbow is actually running out of the. Uh, HP quite a bit. Yeah, I see this is the thing uh, about uh, these uh, special effects about uh, moves that uh, like are supposed to keep uh, enemies uh, locked down completely. They never work on the enemies that could they, those uh, the technique could be really useful on. Attack, attack, shield. Ready. We are shielded yet again. Come at me, bro. Javis casts multi scorch. My goodness, how much HP does uh, Flourish I have? She has like a thousand at this point, or almost. And Javis has been defeated. Ready to call it quits yet, dude? What the hell? Hello, Javis. You didn't tell me we would be having guests. Your Highness! Oh, um, hello! I wasn't expecting you to arrive so soon! If you just give me a moment, I can take care of these intruders, then we can talk. No, please, I'd like to speak with your little friends. So, your horses? We don't have to give any answers to you. If you're Javis' boss, that must mean you're even more evil than he is! Twilight, I think she can figure out that we're horses. Talking horses, no less! How quaint. You, you like them? Of course, they're so cute and small! This will be a fun universe to rule. Yes, of course. Such adorable subjects. Just a couple of hours ago, you were calling us irresponsibly small. You must have this hurt me, oh dear orange horse. I believe I described you as irresponsibly irres small. Well, I'm sorry to say, Miss, um... Oh, where are my manners? My name is Queen Verena. Uh, yeah, well, Miss Verena, I'm afraid we aren't going to let you take over our world so easily. Ha! These horses are just such jokesters, Javis. How lovely. We really will have a lot of fun here. Fun is a one word for it. What did you say? Nothing, your highness. 
Listen, lady, we just kicked your buddy's butt, so unless you want the same thing to happen to you, I'd suggest you hop right back into that glowy box thing and go home. What Rainbow said, we're not afraid of you. Okay, this isn't funny anymore. Now it's just sad. You poor little things are so delusional. I am probably the most powerful being you will ever have the pleasure of meeting. My family has conquered dozens of universes, reshaping them into beautiful kingdoms. With Javis's help, I've been searching for a kingdom of my own for years. Now, at long last, I've found one. Like it or not, your universe is now my property. And there's nothing you adorable little scamps can do to stop me. But I suppose if you truly wish to fight me, then I'll have to happily oblige. Final bosses go! Queen Verena appears! Uh, okay, Javis was actually decently challenging, so this might spell trouble for us. And, but just because of that, actually, uh, we're gonna fully heal ourselves on the first turn. You know, assuming we don't get instantly killed. Elixir on yourself, and you know what? Elixir on yourself, Applejack, too. Ready! Okay, we pretty much fully healed, except for Fluttershy not having her... Uh, Queen Verena attacks with reality itself. So this is basically multi-frost. Uh, let's kiss each other and hopefully I'll have a decent effect. Kiss. Kiss. And you know what? Kiss too. We'll do the shield later. Queen Verena guards. Okay, thank you for uh, just uh, staying there and doing nothing for Queen Verena. We're just going to kiss each other for moral support right now. Just stay guarding like that for no reason, just a bit longer. Okay, we're ready. Let's attack aggressively. Lightning kick. Mega scorch. And rarity shield. Ready. Queen Verena guards yet again. Applejack summons rarity. And Twilight casts Mega Scorch. Flush high attacks. And the boss doesn't seem to have that much HP, but it might have a second form, so let's continue. Also, the video is probably getting a bit long now, but uh, as I said, I really wanted this to be the final video. Why do you keep guarding, Queen Verena? Are you, like, preparing for a super powerful attack? Is that what it is? That'd be kind of a nasty little trick, then. Anyway, keep attacking. Maybe I should use that distraction skill sometime. Whatever, Queen Verena is still guarding for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe she's allergic to our love? Or maybe she's waiting until her HP is down to half and uh, then all of a sudden she gets serious. Queen Verena attacks with rally itself. Wow, your attack has gone really weak, uh, Queen Verena. Seriously, your 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 little buddy uh, Javis was actually a lot stronger than that. Uh, we have to kiss each other again, though. Except for Applejack, she's gonna give everyone an apple pie. Ready? Applejack uses apple pie. Uh, also, Fluttershy almost has a thousand HP. If she had gained one more level, she would have had over a thousand. Queen Verena attacks with reality itself yet again. Well, your attack really isn't all that strong, Queen Verena, so... Yeah, we're just gonna kick your ass for the rest of this, uh... Video, really. Also, Rarity Shield, come back up. Ready! Yep, time to finish this. Well, now Queen Verena is pretty game much uh, more aggressive than usual, but, uh... No, what? What does you know? What this reminds me of the final battle of Final Fantasy III for the NES. The final boss of that uh, game only had one attack, and it was uh, attack everyone aggressively over and over. It was really stupid. But fortunately, Queen Verena is not like that. She also guards occasionally, sometimes repeatedly even. So that makes it uh, that's, that makes this final battle a lot better than that one. Of course, uh, I might be a bit presumptuous in assuming this is the final battle. Your Highness! I can't believe those wretched ponies managed to beat you! You must have gone easy on them! Your Highness? Verena? Hello? 
Um, yeah, she might have actually gotten easy on us. Marina, what are you doing? You're going to destroy this entire outpost. I can defeat them. I only need more power. We can just find another universe to conquer. Your Highness, please stop before you kill us. You say that every time, Javis. And every time we have to flee back to my family and tell them that I still don't have a kingdom of my own. Poor little Verena, the youngest daughter of the family. They pity me in front of my face and laugh and gossip about how there must be something wrong with me behind my back. But no, it's not me. I finally figure it out. It's you, Javis. You've been holding me back all these years. So, this time, I'm taking matters into my own hands. Are you two almost done talking about your problems? Come on, y'all. We better skedaddle before this lady blows up the whole mountain or something. Well, uh, maybe I should talk to these guys first. Can't talk to Javis and can't talk to the lady. I guess I better run quickly before they make a super high damage and instant game over. That would be very bad, because that means I would have to go through the entire final boss battle yet again. The snow still looks soggy, by the way. Oh, we have to go through the entire place? Seriously? Well, at least the battle, the enemies aren't there anymore. What about if we go there? Guess nothing. Usually when there's no timer and uh, the screen keeps shaking and the characters are supposed to be story-wise running away, that means you have all the time in the world to actually get your stuff done. That being said, there are some developers to try to trick those players by actually secretly having a timer being played uh, off-screen, quote-unquote. Okay, we're off the mountain. Goodness gracious! You're not getting away! As if we're afraid of you! Flushai, what are you doing? We have to get out of here! No! What? I said no! Babe, I'm really glad to feel more confident now, but sometimes you have to know when to call it quits. There's no way we can handle this on our own. We have to find help. No! I'm tired of being a coward! I'm tired of always running away from every problem. If we don't take Verena out now, we lose. We don't have time to get help. Flourish, I don't know if you noticed, but Verena got pretty big. I know we've found plenty of monsters before, but this is a way out of our league. You know what, Rainbow? I learned something about myself today. Can this wait? We'll be with you in a moment, Verena. I realized that for my entire life I've been scared of just about everything. I didn't even think twice about it. I just accepted being scared. But I don't actually have any reason to be scared. And this whole adventure there hasn't been anything that was too impossible for me to handle. It turns out I'm kind of great. I just never realized it. And when there's something too scary for me to handle on my own, my friends are there to help me. Especially you, Rainbow. Haven't you been listening to Twilight all this time? Not really. Rainbow, we've got a secret we weapon that Verena doesn't have. Please tell me she ain't about to say, it's the power of love! The actual power of love? Or is it like a, is it gonna like superpower to kiss ability? Is that what it, it's gonna do? Oh man, uh, super transformation magical girl sequence activate! Oh, but only for uh, Rainbow Dash and uh, Flare Sai, apparently. Yep, this is definitely a Magical Girl uh, style uh, transformation right there. Um, they're okay outfits, I guess. Rainbow Dashes look weird, actually. Yeah, I don't like Rainbow Dashes. Flare Sai, I guess, is appropriate, though. Anyway, final battle is go. Hyper Verena appears! Wait, only Flourish Knight Rainbow? Seriously? Well, we oh, love cannon. It's cannon! <laughs> Kiss! Hyper Verena guards! Seriously? Even now, Verena, in a super powerful form, she still decides to just do a guard mo motion. Uh, whatever. It's cannon! It's cannon! Love cannon, go! Rainbow uses love cannon! Are you serious? That's all this, uh... Hyper Verena still uses only reality to attack, and it's not even all that powerful. I mean, seriously? 
Is that all you're gonna do, Hyperbrina? Attack with rarely itself yet again. Okay, this is even more brain dead than the actual first fight. But whatever, I guess uh, someone mentioned uh, in the previous uh, video that uh, the creator was probably more uh, interested in making a narrative that they wanted to do instead of actually uh, making a, uh, an RPG that was challenging. And I guess uh, this confirms it, really. Uh, also, uh, second aid on uh, Rainbow Dodge and Rainbow uses the Love Cannon. Is all of this music actually um, uh, custom made? Uh, I'm gonna guess it is, because uh, I've never heard it before and it seems to be like a made through a music program that is free. <laughs> Not that it's bad, it's just that... Uh, no, it, it is what it is. I don't know why Hyper Verena guards. There, there's little, literally no reason for her to guard at any time. It, it's, she's basically just wasting her turns. And giving you a chance to uh, heal yourself. And kiss each other. If it was like uh, once she guarded, she would uh, like uh, take some of your attack power and uh, send it back to you next turn. That would be a bit uh, more, uh, well, cheap. But still, uh, it would give more sense to, for Hyper Verena or Verena in general to guard. But still, come on. Seriously, Javis was a much more interesting boss battle than this one. But then again, uh, it's a, uh, it's all, it's, it's with all these uh, amateur game designers. They always tend to rush the end, so uh, you know stuff like this happens. Also, uh, transformation is over. That was incredible! How the heck did y'all do that? <laughs> you know, I'd like to say something. That's a first. I'm sorry for all the dungeon nonsense this weekend. I don't even know what I was thinking. Seeing you two work together like that, I realized that no number of friendship dungeons could force anyone to build the kind of bond you two have. It's okay, Twilight. Everyone makes mistakes. But you gotta admit, that's an awfully weird mistake to make. Oh, Verena's not dead. What do you know? Oh, hello. Howdy, Queenie. Don't bother me with the pleasantries. It's patronizing! I can tell when my leadership skills aren't appreciated. I'm not gonna bother to co conquering this world. I hope you weird little ponies are happy. We are. Your Highness! There you are, thank goodness. Let's start over, okay? Let's just forget all of this happened and try the next universe on the list. Maybe we'll find a world with regular sources, hmm? Wouldn't that be nice? I know how much you liked these ones before you realized they were evil. Y Your Highness, could you please give me back my staff? I need that to do my magic. Goodbye, Javis. Marina? Marina? Looks like she dumped you, dude. How am I supposed to get home now? I guess you'll have to stay here with us ponies. Really? After all the trouble I put you tiny horses through, you would take me in? Yes. Congratulations, Javis. You're under royal arrest. You just earned a nice cozy jail cell of your very own. <laughs> I've been waiting to do that all weekend. Why you... Uh, 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 anything you can and will be... Anything you say can and will be held against you in a royal court of royal law. I despise you minuscule abominations with every fiber of my being! You really crinkle my tape, you know that? We what? It's an expression, you clod! That's enough out of you, let's go! I reckon I should get back to Rarity. She's worried about me enough today. I'll have to think of something nice to do for her to make up for all this stress. Bye, Applejack. Have fun with Rarity. Later, AJ. We should probably be heading home, too. Yeah, some rest sounds pretty good right about now. Sorry we never got to go on that uh, date this weekend. It's okay, Rainbow. I still had a nice time. It's not like we had n normal jobs to worry about during the week anyway. We can just go out tomorrow. Actually, you two do have... Well, maybe not Flourish but Rainbow Dash does have a, has a normal job. But I guess uh, in the game designer's uh, canon, uh, maybe she doesn't. Oh, right. So are we headed to my place or yours? Mine sounds good. I need to check on Angel. Sure, let's go. Oh, we can still play as these two. I guess I'll make one additional save in case you guys want to like uh, me to do something here. But I am like otherwise finishing this video here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything special for these ponies to or monsters to say. 
But I will check for Twilight, though. Oh, there's, there's these two. Hey, where'd Javis go? I thought he was with you. I teleported him to Horsington along with a letter explaining what happened this weekend. He's Celeste and Luda's problem now. That's the spirit. That video guy sure was something. When he saw me, he said, How many of you little teens are there in this unbearable world? He kept ranting about how small I was compared to him and said a lot of bad words that don't, don't exactly want to repeat. Say, speaking of things that we were clear on, Tinky, I thought you were working today. Oh, actually, I asked the cakes if I could have my old position back at the inn. That manager position just wasn't for me. I didn't have any free time left to spend with my best friends and my girlfriend. Besides, I don't really need the money anyway. I mean, there weren't even any stores in town until today. And that's the one though, that one's run by little kids. What's up with that anyway? It's a long story. So now everything is back to normal. Yep, it looks like everything worked out for us. Well, that's good. Rainbow and I should probably be going though. Have a nice evening. What's up? Let's check the beast cherry. Actually, no, wait. Yeah, you still have nothing to, to, to say. Mountain Clay, uh, we found all the enemies. Yes, uh, let's check Javits. So this is the guy you've been trying to stop all weekend, huh? Good job on finally taking him out. Thanks! Now let's see, Javits is a mage who hops from universe to universe trying to take over Walls for Arena. Yeah, I gotta give uh, my voice a uh, break right now, so uh, you guys can uh, read it the, uh, by pausing the video and whatnot. Huh, so our attack were ice-oriented. Uh, I never really noticed. Especially because uh, Rainbow Dash had an ice pendant. But even so, uh, why didn't Spike mention that uh, she guards a lot and she wasn't all that tough? <laughs> 4,000 HP, that's it. It's only 500 extra over the normal form. What the hell? I mean, seriously. Well, I guess uh, it's because uh, we only play as two characters when we're against the uh, final form, but still. Well, that's it for the bestiary. There's other uh, places you guys could have checked, but uh, I don't really care about those. And let's finally check up on the Applejack and Rarity. It's good to see you two together again. It's good to be together, Fluttershy. Thanks again for saving Applejack. Don't sweat it, Rarity. We could would have done it with for anyone. Really? Probably not. Now, Applejack, in the future, don't run off on some sort of adventure without me, okay, dear? I feel much better about you risking your life when I'm there to personally ensure you stay out of harm's way. Of course, Rare. To be honest, I wish you'd been with us for the whole thing. I missed you an awful lot. Well, there's always next time. Well, we'll leave you two alone now. Will we? Uh, I was hoping there would be another dialogue in, uh, right after that said, uh, Didn't you two say that uh, you would leave us al alone? But no, it was not meant to be. And in here. Not really. How about the CMC? Oh, so you're still here? Why wouldn't we be? We kind of already saved the, saved the world. So that means we don't really need adventuring gear anymore. Are you sure? You never know when this stuff might come in handy. We probably won't be going any on any other world saving adventures for at least another month or two. Sorry, girls. So I guess this business isn't really, isn't really sustainable. Darn, I really thought we had a good plan this time. Maybe we can try something else. Like what? Oh, I know. What if we sold explosives here? That's a great idea, sweetie Belle. High explosives are all the rage these days. Maybe you should try something safer and more age-appropriate? Something like coloring, or jump rope, or spelunking. That's not quite what I had in mind. But I'm not sure, I'm sure they'll figure it out something eventually. Come on, Fushai, we've got places to be. Okay, if there's other places I could check that have a special dialogue in them, I don't really care about them. Let's toss more coins into the wishing wheel.
Yeah, we know. Well, it was a little, it was, the dialogue was a little different, but uh, it was still kind of the same. Having Twilight in your party makes a difference. Okay, we're going to be probably finishing the video right about now when it's going to... If I'm fast enough, I'll be able to finish the video in less than an hour. It's at 56 minutes now. Hi, Angel dear. Did you have a nice weekend? Angel? Have you been standing here with this note for who, two whole days? Angel, stop ignoring me. I guess he's just hes just in a stubborn mood. He's just a statue, I bet, too. Hmm. I guess uh, Flush Eyes dialogue hasn't changed. Well, Rainbow, are we ready to end this adventure? Yes! Are you absolutely sure, dear? Yes! I already saved in case I need to check up on something else. By the way, if I did miss, miss something, uh, please warn me about it, guys. I'll make like a small extra video to just probably... Uh, well, maybe I'll make a small extra video to show it up. Whatever. Today was a good day. Yeah. Really weird, but overall good. I'm probably going to be debating whether or not any of this that stuff with Jeff has happened for years, though. He was really something, in a bad way. Yeah, what a dork. I'm glad we didn't let a creep like him take over the world. Although I do have to admit, seeing you do that magic thing and kick Verena's butt was pretty impressive. You should be proud of yourself. That was hardcore. Thanks, Dashi. I actually am pretty proud of myself for once. So what do you want to do tomorrow? I still owe you a date. I don't know. You got anything in mind? Well, we could take a trip to Horsington and see the sights. We haven't been there since Twilight's brother's wedding. Or we could go for a fly around town and you could do some flips. You barely got any chances to fly this weekend. I do like flips a lot. But you know, after saving the universe, I think we've maybe we've earned a day off. How about we just sleep in and hang out around here tomorrow? We don't need anything. We don't need to do anything fancy to have fun. You know what? You're right. I'm sure whatever we do tomorrow, it'll be nice. You know why? I think I know why. I love you, Rainbow. I love you too. Now let's get some sleep. Okay. Good night, Dashi. Good night, babe. Ooh, okay, it's over. My voice is killing me. I don't know why. Uh, can I complain about the game now? <laughs> because I've wanted to complain about this game uh, for quite some decent amount of time. Alright, let's go through this laundry list of issues I have. Oh, but first some props. The music is nice. Not all of it was original and some things were grating, but for the most part it was enjoyable and made solely for this experience. Not everyone ends up using original pieces for the product, and if they do, it's for the very end of the product, the production timeline. Uh, also, the art was also good. A very appealing style that is similar to the show's art, and there are some key differences, but it's still very similar, and it's still very appealing. And uh, also, everyone, uh, well, I think everyone, had uh, some unique sprites. That's very nice, too. The biggest drawback is that uh, it wasn't quite consistent, and there's lots of cases where the art of the enemies were either a mishmash or downright lazy. It was funny in some cases, but uh, still lazy. And uh, the monster sprites were really generic. I didn't really enjoy them all that much. And that's it for the props. I don't really uh, you know what. Let's just go for the uh, other stuff. Okay, first off, the story wasn't nearly as comedic as it implied it would be. It seemed to be more like a very non-serious story with a joke here and there, honestly. I mean, Sweetie Belle being the largest threat uh, between uh, when Twilight was uh, clearly implying herself it to be, and Rainbow Dash's continuous lack of punctuation wasn't really like uh, all that great either, and Mountain Gay, seriously? These jokes all lack a significant amount of substance. They they hold no weight. They just They just come and go. And without cohesion, these random comments are forgotten no later than five minutes or something. So... That was an obvious fail on that part. I really didn't think the story was all that great when it came to comedy. I laughed. I know I laughed a few times, but that was mostly me trying to, like, get into it, you know? Anyway, secondly, uh, the gameplay. Uh, initially, uh, I thought the gameplay posed a decent challenge, but uh, after roughly one hour or something, the difficulty is just, like, goes right out the window. It, the, the, it does not exist anymore. It's, it's, like, too, it's too easy to defeat the enemy before they get to do anything, like, uh, permanent. St and the status effects, like, uh, there's some interesting ones here and there, but 
they get brushed off brush, brushed off easily and uh, they cure themselves after some time that's that's one of the issues they really shouldn't cure themselves like you really should have to deal with, with them especially because uh, you had an, an ability that was specifically made for that Ugh. but uh, you know I think the part I was really disappointed in was uh, near the end it, it became outright brain dead yeah brain dead when the uh, the final battle kicked in it was literally just the boss attacks every once in a while all the party members and sometimes they'll just guard that's it no status effects or anything like really I was expecting like Javis and uh, uh, what's her name to double team us uh, near the end but uh, nope never got around it uh, never got that and uh, I just noticed that I never had to use the pony tears or anything like that because no one ever fell in battle. I know it's annoying to have like a super powerful attacks that uh, kill your party members every once in a while, but the fact of the matter is it was way too easy to heal myself before I had to deal with that. Anyway, uh, I think what it is that uh, the creator wanted this to be a casual experience or something like that. But if you're going to make a game that feels like it's on autopilot, you might as well make it a cutscene. I mean, seriously. Uh, besides that, though, uh, there was an interesting aspect about some ability I wanted to bring up, the kissing mechanic. It had some potential if we had, like, more party members, and its effect was, like, uh, more powerful than needed. And during the plot, players uh, would have an opportunity to change the pairings uh, around, you know, and decide who should be with who. And by changing them around, the kissing mechanic would uh, specifically work with those two ponies. I mean, cer certain characters would be more powerful among their special some pony and whatnot. And with a bit of refinement, this would have genuinely felt like a shipping game. Like, if the mechanic had been implemented really well, better than, like, than I'm trying to explain it right now, it would have really felt like, a, oh, I'm playing a game about uh, shipping the ponies. Stuff like that. And, you no, know, to, to put some, if you didn't pair your ponies right, they, they would, won't be with their special sum pony and won't be able to take advantage of the kissing mechanic. I, I think I'm going with this a bit too far. Uh, point is, uh, I'm just theorizing. The, the kissing mechanic was just a little thing the creator added for immersion purposes of his pairings and his pairings alone. And which kind of brings me to my final point. So why did the entirety of the main six have to be shipped? Uh, I was fine with Fleur Dash at first and, you know, stuff like Lara and Bonbon are fine as well. They they just stand there for one scene and that's it. But uh, every, every, every pairing, every pony will, like, felt really forced. I mean, there were some scenes for Rarity and Applejack and Pinkie Pie and Twy, but they never felt like uh, there was an actual reason for these two ponies to really, really, really be together. Like, they could have been uh, single and they wouldn't really change the story at all. Except maybe some lines here and there, but, you know, still. And I really don't see the purpose of having Pinkie Pie and Rarity being support characters and nothing else. I would have really preferred them to be, like, even if they, w they had to be switched, switched out with... Uh, other ponies, I would have really be felt better if, uh, if there were like uh, two secret characters that could join your party, or be switched out for Twilight and Applejack or whatnot. It's it's in fact what it is that uh, about the po ponies being forced together. It actually diluted the romantic attachment of the real main characters, because let's face it, this game was the author's love letter to Flourish. It was nothing else like it, it was nothing else, like. Nothing else than that. It's even the title screen, you see. Flourish, Shine, Rainbow Dash. And nothing really specifically wrong with that. But the, the thing, the issue I have is that it was made to appeal to him most of all. Even if the game is perfectly platable for others. I was beginning to suspect this around halfway through the game. Like when it became clear that it was purposely being simple both in plot and gameplay. I thought the lack of difficulty was from uh, lack of testing. But nope, it's, I don't think he actually cared about the difficulty period. Well, well, but geez, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong, there's nothing inherently wrong with shipping, but the way this guy did it was, to me, it was the wrong way. AJ and Rarity are together, so are Twilight and Pinkie Pie, and as I said before, nothing is explaining the story why those pairs uh, really, really exist, or like, how they happen. You could have easily, like, switched it up to, like, Twilight and Applejack and... Rarity and Pinkie Pie, and uh, it really wouldn't have changed the story at all. And uh, the author didn't feel like explaining these things because uh, that's the pairings uh, he likes. They, they, honestly, uh, I, I, I honestly suspected that these uh, pairings were subconscious attempts to ensure there is no competition for Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash. 
which is really too bad because uh speaking of which those two break up sometime uh, later in the story it, it but it it never felt like they really broke up because they stick around in the party and even though they lose their kissing mechanic uh, after, if you, if I had just went to the final dungeon immediately they would have almost instantly got back together like over after half an hour they would have broken up and then got back together that that's way too quick if you really want to like get some me some emotionally invested into these two uh, characters that were once together and uh, how they really I really want them to get back together then uh, this wasn't the way to do it I uh, I suspect the game designer thought he was like a uh, making a really emotional delivery in that scene where they get back together, but it felt really flat considering they really didn't have any other options or pressure to not be together. Just about every character in this game is either in a relationship or a kid. Like Spike, I guess if you consider him to be a romantic uh, option, or that Bumblebee a character in the inn that Pinkie Pie was in, or the generic guards are... They're quite literally the only good characters that are single, besides like villains and whatnot. So what the hell was I supposed to feel when Flush had got back with Rainbow? She had she had basically no other options. No pressure to leave or to get hitched with someone else. So I really couldn't have cared less. I mean, I might be already overreacting a bit, but this felt like the developer trying to deliver his finest moment there, and let me tell you, this wasn't that great. Uh But I digress. I many of Super Lesbian Horse RPG's design decisions were made to, for personal appeal. And you know what, that's fine, but when you present something to the public or an audience and you claim you're really proud of it, you you really ought to take into consideration how the audience will feel about playing something that wasn't created in consideration for them. You know, mostly. Like, I'm sure you made some adjustments here and there for people to play the game, but I think this was mostly his personal pet project he completed and decided to release to the public. Not, again, not that there's anything wrong with that, but when you release it to the people like me, I'm just going to criticize all the junk that I felt uh, really didn't work out. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's all I have to complain, really. Uh, so, uh, you know what? I'm going to convert back to my original commentary. Yeah, I pretty much uh, redubbed my uh, review of the game. I did not like how Flurry Dash was pretty much shoved down our throat in this uh, game. I can tell the game creator liked that pairing a lot, but... Uh, I really didn't feel like it was necessary that the... Uh, uh, whatever, it's uh, his decision. All I'm saying is that uh, different strokes for different folks, uh, I really didn't enjoy the pairing that much because it was, playing for, it was played in a jokey way for a lot of the game. Ugh. Do I have any other complaints to make? I like the title team music. I like it a lot. Well, the beginning anyway. Well, whatever. If I have more complaints to make, I'll probably put them in the description down in the video. Speaking of which, if you guys want to play this game yourselves, uh, it's also in the description. If you guys have anything else I want you to show, you want me to show for this game, please put it in the d description below, and uh, I'll probably make a one more video that's like five minutes long, showing a few more dialogues that can only be shown like at the very end, or maybe something else I missed somewhere. Because otherwise, this is the final video. So let's end this. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope you all enjoyed this playthrough, and I hope you all have a very nice day. Next time, not a pony game, I assure you all. See you then.